Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Dr. of Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Today I'll be talking about how to be healthy at work with eight simple tips. And I'll tell you, these are really, really effective. And let me say this, there's a, uh, there's a quote that I've heard from several people saying that sitting is the new smoking. And listen, I want to affirm that it is absolutely true. If you are sitting all the time, all day, like most of us are, it has absolutely been correlated to chronic illness and chronic disease. So for most of us, we will sit all day at work and not get up and move. And listen, it's not just about movement, though. There are other surprising things you'll learn here in this video that you need to do in order to have your best health possible. So let's dive right in and talk about how to be healthy at work and actually support and lengthen your life overall quality health here as well. So Here's the biggest issue at work. There's really just too much sitting going on, okay? We know that when you are sitting, uh, there's less movement in your body. Listen, movement is life. You wanna be moving, you want your blood moving, you want the airflow moving in your body, you want your lymphatic system moving, your digestive tract moving, you gotta be moving. Well, sitting keeps all of that from happening and we were created to move. Too much sitting, again, it's the new smoking. It causes disease of the lungs, the heart, the digestive system, the hormones. We sit too much. We've got solutions for that I'll talk about. Uh, poor posture. That's another big issue at work is oftentimes rather than sitting like I am now, we end up like this, right? Our arms are, our head is forward. We get rounding here. You'll notice a lot of people when they get older, they can start to get that rounding of the spine, that hump at the base of their neck and upper back and their head starts to shift forward. Now here's the problem today. This happens at work, it happens in schools today. So many people have poor posture. And do this for me, I'm gonna have you do an exercise. Take your head, move it as far forward and down as you can. Now try and take a deep breath in. You can hardly do it. Now come back, sit up straight and tall. Now take a deep breath in. You'll see that's what posture does. There's actually a clinical study, a, a medical study that recently came out that said poor posture literally cuts off your air supply, damages your heart and lungs and other organs in your body. So poor posture, listen, poor posture doesn't just cause over time pain in the neck, upper back and shoulders, which it does. Poor posture actually cause, causes disease of the spine and of organs, including your lungs and heart. Poor, uh, poor posture is very damaging to your body. So again, posture is key. We'll talk about how to combat poor posture in just a minute. Lack of focus. You know, this happens at work. This is an issue uh, that a lot of people have is, you know, sometimes, especially in the afternoon, there's lack of focus. You just really can't get anything done. You're not effective at work. If you're not effective at work, it can put you at, uh, it can put you at risk of, losing your job or not getting raises and really moving up and having the impact that you want to have in your company and on the world. Next thing here, bad air. This is another pitfall of a lot of workplaces. There are chemicals being sprayed. There is really lack of airflow. There's hardly, you know, really the only thing you have is, uh, you know, um, lead-based paints and fluorescent lights and other things you're being exposed to in your workplace. So let's talk about now practical steps to make your workplace healthier and to make you healthier. Number one, rethink your workstation. You know, I personally now at my own home have a standing desk. And what I do when I'm working is I stand uh, most of the time where I have a stool that's higher and I alternate between this higher up stool where I'm, my, my legs aren't flexed as much and standing at my desk, okay? Now, if you can't get a, number one, hey, get a standing desk if you can. If you can't, what you need to do is really reorient your workplace to where you're looking at the screen higher. Here's what happens. Most of us have computers down here, so it's causing us to look down and our head to go forward. If your computer should be up right at eye level this high, you should be looking right into the middle of the screen there, and that's gonna cause your neck to come back. You know, when we look at your neck, you should have a curve in your neck like this. A lot of people are getting what's called a straight neck and forward head posture. No, your neck should be back like that with a curve. Rethink your workstation, again, by bring that computer up. And you know, I did this years ago before I had a standing desk. I just got a couple big books and stacked my computer up. But that alone is good. But rethink your workstation in, in where you're at. Number two, roll and stretch. Now, I think it's good every hour, what I, you know, whether you're setting alarm, you know, hey, at the top of every hour, to get up for two minutes, okay? I'm not telling you to get up all, you know, for 
five and 10 minutes every hour. That may not be realistic for you, but I get up two minutes. And when you get up two minutes, simply stretch and move for two minutes and then sit back down. Now, a great thing to do is have a roller. Uh, you can you can simply get what's called a foam roller here and just foam roll certain areas of your body, getting some movement in there. You can also do sort of a cat camel stretch. You can also just get up and just simply twist a little bit, stretch a little bit. Do that for two minutes every hour. Lots of benefits there at increasing that circulation and movement in your body. Number three, focus promoting oils. You know, if you're a person that really is lacking focus at work, essential oils can help. My favorite essential oils for focus can include vetiver oil, cedarwood oil, peppermint oil, very invigorating, energizing, but a blend of those oils, either vetiver or cedarwood combined with something like a peppermint oil is really energizing and can improve your focus. So what I do is I simply at my own workstation, I actually have a diffuser that sits there. I'll put in about three or four, three to five drops of peppermint, three to five drops of cedarwood or vetiver, and I diffuse those while I'm working. These are great focus promoting oils. Uh, and if, hey, if you don't have a diffuser, uh, what you can simply do is just do a couple drops and rub it uh, just on your neck area or even on your temples there as well. Number four, having a fragrance-free workplace. You know, you may be something where you talk to your boss. If somebody is spraying lots of chemicals all the time, or you have a coworker sitting next to you, letting them know that you know you're having that you have a sensitivity. Don't put it on them and let them know, hey, I don't really like your fragrance. But if somebody has something that's really bothering you and it's affecting your health and really even your focus at work, you may say, hey, I, you know, I just heard from a doctor, hey, feel free to use me, and say, you know, I have, a, I have a sensitivity to certain chemicals and I think there may be something in something you're wearing. Now listen, that could create some, you know, that if that person is a very sensitive person, then hey, maybe you wanna ask your, your boss to be moved from the area, I don't know. But again, a fragrance-free workplace is something that a lot of people have asked for uh, in recent years. Now. Air cleaning plants, this is something that's fantastic. All of us should be having these, uh, these cleansing plants next to us. Now there are many different types of plants. Spider plants are good, bamboo plants are very, very good. Um, as are uh, any type of plant with a lot of leaves, all right? And a lot of greens. So, you know, what I think it's great to do, you can get a bamboo plant, or even let's say like a uh, you know like a rubber plant is another fantastic plant a rubber pl plant with a really big leaves putting a couple plants next to your desk is actually good for cleansing the air and actually supporting your own health there as well so have a couple plants there right next to your desk in your workspace uh, healthy foods now this is kind of a no brainer right this is one of the most important things on the list you know a lot of people at work at around two o'clock in the afternoon, hit the two o'clock coma where you're ready to just take a snooze. And that's because you had probably too many carbs for lunch, maybe you had pasta or some chips or a sandwich and all that bread, or even a soda. Get rid of that stuff. If you really wanna feel great in the afternoon, have a salad, okay? Do some veggie juice. I mean, that is really gonna energize your body. So again, lots of veggies, even as something like a bowl of, uh, of chicken broth, vegetable soup can be great. But in general, staying away from the excess carbohydrates is really gonna help you feel good during the day. Number seven, more air protection, okay? Now oftentimes you can get an air filter to put it by your desk and it actually can filter out things in the air. You know, this is surprising to a lot of people, but you would be shocked by how many workspaces actually have mold in their air ducts, lots of them. And if you notice where you're going into work and sometimes you go out of there and you just feel like when you're at work, you notice your nose is a little stuffy or you're, you're, you got a little bit of just phlegm in your throat. If that's sort of a regular thing happening, it could be that there's mold in the air ducts at work. And so one of the good things you can do, uh, proactive things you can do is simply get an air purifier, put it next to your desk and allow that to purify the air in the area you're at at work. Number eight, corrective exercise. Now, once you leave work, it's great to exercise, or you could actually do this at work. You know when I talked about taking those two minute breaks every hour? If you just took a couple bands and you just did something like pull apart, just did things to really, like what happens oftentimes when we're at the desk is our pecs get overworked. They get real tight in our shoulders because we're like this all day. We need to do this. We need to really work those back muscles. And you can get bands at work and simply just 
pull them apart like this, really squeezing those shoulder blades together. That's a great way to combat that. And also, you know, after work, you can do exercise. You can do, I recommend people not focus on their chest as much and their biceps. Focus more on those back muscles and that posterior chain like your hamstrings. Really work on, again, strengthening your back and your legs and doing certain classes like Pilates, bar and yoga can be great ways to really improve your overall posture as well as exercises, uh, weight training in terms of strengthening your back by working your rhomboids and lats and those different areas of your body. But if you can do all these things in combination, your workplace can be healthier, you can be healthier. It's a great thing to consider there as well. And I also just recommend, hey, during your lunch break, take a 20 minute walk, you know, eat something, but the rest of the lunch break, get out there and just go for, even if it's just a 10 minute walk, get out and move a little bit during your workday. So here's some things to think about. Number one, rethink your workstation. Remember, get that computer up, make it eye level, and also consider a standing desk or some sort of a chair that doesn't have a back in, to where you're sitting up straight. Roll and stretch a little bit every uh, two minutes, every hour. Focus on, use focus promoting oils like vetiver, cedar wood, peppermint. Get a fragrance free workplace and if you can't do that, hey, there's other things you can do like air cleaning plants, healthy foods. Remember, lots of salads, veggie juices are gonna be great. More air protection, such an air filter and corrective exercise. And if you can do these things, you're going to be a lot healthier at work. You're going to feel better even when you get home later on that day. And hey, if you've enjoyed this live training, hey, take a minute right now and make sure to subscribe here to this YouTube channel. I've got a lot more great videos coming out on the power of essential oils and diet therapy and herbal remedies and a whole lot more. And hey, also if you want to learn more about me and check out some more great articles, hey, you can just search my name, Dr. Axe, online and you can find, uh, find my website and some other stuff. But I want to say, hey, thanks for watching. Remember, sitting is the new smoking, so move more, get your workplace healthy, and I know you're going to be healthier for it. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.